Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, tonight we're doing a bit of an unboxing on some new parts that arrived today. So finally getting some stuff in. Um, COVID's been holding everything up a little bit. We've got a package here from an Australian company, uh, pretty new on the scene from what I know, um, but seem to be making some quality stuff and seem to be a bunch of top guys. I was speaking to him over Facebook, you know, at first, and I was like, oh, I'm looking for some head studs, valve springs, and things like that. I was going to go Atomic, but he suggested let's try these. So I'm going to give them a run, see how they go. Um, I've heard pretty good things about them already. Let's get into it and have a look. All right, so first up we have the um, valve springs. So these are just a heavy duty Ovate wire beehive valve spring. Uh, pretty much similar to what everyone else is making on the market. I think, you know, a valve spring is a valve spring pretty much. A heavy duty valve spring is a heavy duty valve spring. Um, so this is them. Seem to be like most of the other ones on the market, which is great to see. Uh, they can handle, I think these ones can handle, I was, they're rated like to 35 PSI plus, uh, which is good. So that'll get me well over what I need. Um, they also can, well, they can also come with, as an option, titanium retainers. Um, if I knew that when I purchased these, I probably would have got titanium retainers too, just because titanium retainers. But, um, <laughs> nah, I, I, I like to go a little bit above and beyond with things. So a bit overkill on some stuff. So titanium retainers would have been just cool to have. It's pretty much it for me. Just so I can say I've got my titanium retainers. They look like, you know, look like pretty good quality thing. So we'll see once we put them in and get the tune done. If they start to float, we know that they weren't good quality, but I haven't heard any bad reviews of them, so we'll just chuck them in and try them out. Little sticker, always good to have stickers. The best thing about buying car parts is getting free stickers. All right, so that's that one out of the way. What have we got next? All right, so we've got the Barra 12 mil head studs. Um, these are made from a 8740 high tensile chrome molly. They come already lubed up. So you've got them all there. These are the 12 mils. What else we got here? The bolts, so the head bolts. Already lubed up there as well. You can also get um, oversized washers for these two, which I did. I did get. That's them there. So the oversized washers just pretty much give you more clamping force across the head, like an even spread across the head, and just a bit better. So I think the standard size washers that come with them or come with a kit. Uh, I think they're 23 mil standards and these are uh, 28 mil. So it just spreads a load evenly across the head or helps with that. And you know, a bit more clamping force there as well at high boost levels. So you can't really go wrong there with a bit of extra support. But yeah, it looks like, a, um, you know, they look pretty good. So at the end of the day, again, I think, you know, most of your head studs are all the same as each other. They're made out of the same stuff, most of them. Um, Obviously, the difference here is the oversized washers, but you can still get them in other brands too. Uh, and they do come with some, some grease here as well. So, good to get them in this week. Well, actually, maybe next week, once the head comes back and the, and the block comes back from the machine shop. What else do we got? something else okay. so I also got some 
manifold bolts too. I didn't get them for any other reason. Like my ones were still fine. I just got them because of the cool gold nut. <laughs> Pretty much it. Nah, they should be a bit stronger. Um, and plus I'm, I'm replacing everything anyway. So I might as well, you know, replace, replace everything that I can with something that's a bit better quality, I guess. So that's how they come. Dual thread. I think they go on the other way, actually. Like that. Goes in. Clamps down. Not much else to it, really. Um, and you probably won't even see these anyway, so. Oh, you will a little bit, but I don't think they'll be getting noticed very much. But yeah, so I just got those two. So these guys, Domino Motorsport, helped me out with the helped me out with the price a little bit. If I, you know, gave them a shout out and things like that, which is awesome. I love you know companies that are willing to to work with you, um, which is great when you're trying to build a car that's you know costing you too much which all our cars do, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'm keen to trial these out and thank you, Dominator Motorsport, for um, helping me out with these. Plus the quick, you know, pretty quick shipping in the COVID times. That's fantastic. Um, I think once I paid for them, I paid for them at like, I think it was something stupid, like 12 o'clock at night. I was talking to the guy from Dominator at like 11, paid for them at 12 had them sent out the next day. So that's pretty good customer service to be answering my questions at 12 o'clock at night. Um, I work in retail myself, so I know what it's like to have, you know, people message you or things like that at night and um, props to them for, you know, replying to their their customers at all hours of the morning. That, that shows amazing customer service. So these guys seem great, easy to work with. They do a heap of other parts too. Um, they do oil pump gears and things like that too. And they're all at really competitive prices. So like I said, I haven't used anything from them before, but I have heard some pretty good things about them on the market. They are only new. So a lot of, you know, a lot of people that I asked about before I went and bought the stuff said, look, you know, they're new. They haven't had any bad stuff going on, but they still are only new. Um, from what from what I know, from who I've spoken to anyway. So they may have been around a bit longer. They do ship all over the world. So I think um, Adam LZ is using head studs, I believe, or valve springs, either one. He's using them in his um, his Mustang Barra build at the moment, or GT350 Barra build, um, which is pretty cool. So that's sort of where I first seen these guys on um, Adam LZ's channel. So yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching again. Um, hopefully I'll be able to upload, you know, some more of these as the parts flow in. Comment down below and let me know, you know, what I can improve on, things like that. So I'm only new, this is my second video. Thanks guys and uh, enjoy your night. Bye.